seven, five, and five, four, three. This is Daisy coming to you live from the 615. Here to update you with month trois. That's right, month three. That was three in French, folks. Oh, that was fun. Hey guys, how goes things? Daisy here coming to you with a three month lock update. Yes. Yes, so as you can see, I'm wearing flowers in my head. Yes, because you know I had to just show up just a little bit, just a little bit. But let's move on to the stuff. Changes! I'm having a lot more budding. Yeah. These are starting to bud more. I can't see because of my flowers. Yeah. Way more budding. Extra hair, yo, I'm having lots of extra hair, like excess hair around the lock. If you can see with this one, oh, there it is. <laughs> Look at that, you see that little ball at the end? I know what that means, that means the ends are sealing. That means the lock is about to complete, okay? There's that one, you see that? Yes. Oh, look at this one. This is really exciting. Uh, no unraveling. My roots didn't really connect this month. Throughout the month, I just go on my hair and I just make sure that my roots do not connect because when I get ready to do the retwist, I'm not trying to pull because honestly that hurts and I'm not trying to push, you know, pressure and stress on my roots and all that. No, 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 no. Reactions, definitely more than the second month. Today, lots of people, they were like, oh, I really like your locks. That's really good. Like, more people might noticing. Process that I'm doing is still the same. The front. Hopefully you guys can see with my flowers. I'm about to do my hair and I'll see you guys when I'm done. Back! <laughs> In the first half of this video with the flowers, it was November 8th when I recorded that. Right now, currently, it is November 10th. So with that being said, because my process prolonged to a time period of two days, some things were kind of different. I didn't really go under the hair dryer at first. I air dried. So I'm about to give you a 360 of my hair and then we're gonna move on to another topic because I gotta talk about the current events. You know, I gotta, I gotta voice my opinion. I can't just sit here. I gotta voice it. <laughs> so I'm about to give y'all a 360 and then we're about to get down to the serious-ish. Like I said, I didn't have a lot of marriage at the roots. I did have a lot of excess hair though, and it was kind of hard determining which strand of hair went which because they all gotta go in the same section, you feel me? That was kind of hard, but all in all, for the most part, it was a, it's, it was another successful month, another successful retwist. I definitely am happy. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, I, I have no complaints. Everything worked out the way it was supposed to. None of that white stuff caked up at the roots of my hair. So I really think the black soap is doing me justice. And that's all I have for you guys today with the lock journey. Boop, boop. Now, <laughs> we're about to transition. This presidential election, or should I say depression. <laughs> let me stop, let me stop. I'm not, let me, let me, I'm not trying to encourage, you know, depression i'm sorry if i rant i'm sorry if this video is longer than you thought but i i do have to i got everything that i'm saying i need to say it. donald trump got elected the president of the united states let me begin this by saying that i'm not into politics never have been but i'm not gonna say never will because this election well this whole year this whole year 2016 it's really been a roller coaster. It's been a ride. This election has really motivated me to learn about rules and regulations regarding the country that I'm staying in. And as you, 
as reality becomes a little bit more clear, you learn that history is very important. It's very crucial to how things are playing out today. And if you don't understand the history, if you don't know the right history, then it is very easy for your mind to be molded and to be convinced. Now, there's this whole feud about how people are blaming the folks that didn't vote. And this is what I wanted to talk about. Our vote, yeah, us voting and going, standing in the long lines and uh, checking the ballot. Yeah, that doesn't matter, honey boo boos. What matters is the electoral vote. Am I saying that? Is, am I pronouncing that correctly? Electoral. 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 Hold up. Electoral. <laughs> electoral. That's how I'm gonna pronounce it. Anyway, okay, because I can't. Okay. The Electoral College decides who gets to be president and vice president. Now, yes, the popular vote, which is the votes that we, the people, go out and do. You know, I guess that has some type of motivation. I guess that lets like the Senate of the House, the House of Representatives, the Electoral College, I guess that gives them a little clue about what we, the people, would like, who we would like to see in the office. But at the end of the day, the Electoral College is the ones who decide now, this was a rule that was created by our founding fathers. It is stated in the 12th Amendment, Article 2 of the Constitution. Hold up now, disclaimer, if you don't believe me, you ain't gotta believe me. My job is to not try to make you believe me. My job is to spark a little curiosity to the open-minded folks and push you to go do the research on your own. I'm not about to sit here and feed you all the answers, no. We need to get into the habit of looking up things and researching them, reading and knowing the facts. I could back up my facts. I'm about to, I'm gonna put hella links in the description. I have references, I'm citing my sources. However, I'm not on Twitter. You know, it says here that our votes don't matter. Well, how do you know that, Daisy? Oh, I saw it on Twitter. Are you serious? No, 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 no. So this is all, it's stated here in black and white. I'm not making none of this up. Nowhere in the 12th Amendment does it at least say that our popular vote matters. Like if you read it, it literally is describing the process of how the president is elected and nowhere in there does it say anything about no damn popular votes. If that was the case, Hillary would be president. But because the people in the electoral college, they voted for Trump, so we got Trump. What does that mean? How do you take that? How does that make you feel? And it shows in the numbers. Hillary Clinton won the popular vote. So you can't sit up here and tell me that Hillary didn't win because some people didn't vote. She got the popular vote without hella people voting. I know hella people that didn't vote and I'm one of the people that didn't vote. So what can we do? What? It, it, it's really funny. There was a video of Malcolm X in 1964 during his interview and he was asked about the candidate at the time um, Barry Goldwater. What he says in the video describes Trump. I'm going to put that link as well. It always takes something detrimental, something drastic, horrible for people to realize. And if I'm sorry, but like if it takes Trump to be the president of the United States for people, black people in particular, to realize that we need to get our shit together, then so be it. <laughs> it's not the end of the world that Trump is president. It's funny because in history class, we talked about the treatment by the slaveholders and the nature of society. One of the things he talked about was passive resistance, how the slaves coped with slavery. One of those things was religion. Another uh, coping mechanism was development of culture you know something that's mine you know hymns soul food another coping mechanism which is I'm relating it back to the election is form of mocking you know making jokes and funny like you believe that da -da 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 -da, like to cope with the fact that some serious events are happening I go on social media hella memes hella funny stuff well I guess we on the boat back to Africa I call front seat on the boat you know we singing the wade in the water like gotta go back to Canada the immigration website for Canada has shut down we can't all leave America other countries are laughing at us laughing at us <laughs> like uh, taking us a fucking joke we can't go to other countries and expect to just 
go in there with this Americanized way of thinking. You can't go over there and not expect to contribute to what they already have. You can't go to Canada and think that shit is Gucci. We cannot run away is what I'm saying. With that being said, we need to change our agenda. We need to change our values, our beliefs, our priorities. What is really important to us? Everybody was happy when Obama was president. Everybody was doing flips and cartwheels and shit. Oh, we got a black man in the White House. We good, we Gucci. All our problems are gonna be solved. Yo, my people, my brothers, my sisters, wake the fuck up. And I'm so, I, I just, this gets me really frustrated because I wanna see my people thrive and I wanna see us do better. But it starts with us. It starts with us first, okay? I'm gonna put all of my resources and links in the description. If what I said today made you upset, made you angry, made you feel some type of way, good. Cause that's what the fuck I was trying to do. So, don't let Trump being president, you know, dwindle your mood. That doesn't mean that we still can't make a change. That doesn't mean that we have to stop doing what we're doing. That does not mean that we cannot still make a difference. Saying that you hope it'll get better is not a substitute for your actions. Prove it. Mean what you say, okay? That's all. So, with that being said, I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of the month. Stuff your face. Stuff your face for Thanksgiving. That's the one day you have to, like, you know. I'll be having my first vegan Thanksgiving, so that's going to be really exciting for me. Thank you guys for coming back. <laughs> if you actually uh, came back. Oh, one last note. I... See all of your comments and I appreciate all of them and I read all of them like I, I, I take it to heart. So thank you guys so 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 much. I hope all is well in your life. Peace. Much love. This is Daisy coming to you live from the 615. Come. <laughs>